Welcome to Urban Knife Guy, where we explore the urban knife style and jungle survival. Today, we're going to have a discussion about whether made in China knives are good. Before we start, what do you think of made in China knives? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. First, if you watch this channel regularly but have not subscribed, please do so to support the channel. Thanks. In recent years, there has been quite a number of knife brands from China that have gained prominence. These include more well-known brands like We Knives, its subsidiary Civivi, Kaiser, Cancept, Real Steel, and QSP. There are also many rising brands like Tucson, Sanren Mu, Artisan Cutlery, and its subsidiary CJRB, as well as many others. Most, if not all, these brands produce folding knives that are regarded as high-quality products comparable with counterparts made in other parts of the world. I'll say this right from the start. This discussion is not about politics or nationalism. So if you choose not to consider knives from China because of your beliefs about the country or because you want to support your homegrown products, that is completely fine, but that is not the context of this discussion. Although I will admit some of that might bleed into the talk. I should also add that I'm not a pro-China knife guy. I'm a pro good design, good quality, and good value knife guy. The perception of made in China knives not too long ago was that they were cheap, low quality knives. But the fact is, objectively, there are many high quality knives currently out of China. And I've got a bunch of knives over here. They're all made in China from the QSP Penguin, which is very popular. This is the D2 steel with copper scales. We have a Civibi knife. Let's look for one over here. This is the Altus. It's a button lock, very nice spear point blade over there that drops shuts just like that. We have this frame lock or titanium construction. This is from Cancept and this is the Model 6 and also not an inexpensive knife as well. And the list goes on for the various knives that you see in front of you. So all these blades have good fit and finish. They've got good designs and they've got the locking mechanisms that you're familiar with knives from all over the world. Whether it's a liner lock, a frame lock, a back lock and a button lock. While Chinese knives were traditionally considered more budget friendly, that is not always the case anymore. There are still brands who offer great value at very affordable prices. However, there are also a few Chinese brands that are priced really high, such as We Knives and Cancept. Even Civivi prices are steadily increasing as their brand gets stronger. And such is the case also for Kaiser. The knives are also getting pretty expensive, all above the 100 US dollar mark. Civivi used to be the budget line of We Knives, similar to Kershaw to Zero Tolerance in the US. Now We Knives has a third brand called Senkat, which seems to be replacing Civivi's role in that regard. This is the Senkat Acumen. It's a very decent budget blade. Now the fit and finish is actually pretty good. This is the all black version. However, the liner lock, I would say, at least from the fit and finish, doesn't seem as good as Civivi. It works perfectly fine, it's decent, just doesn't have that same polished feel. But it's a great budget knife and it is inexpensive. So, why are made in China knives now so good? There are several reasons for this. First, many known manufacturers from the West contracted Chinese companies to make their knives and still do today. Check out these knives over here. All these knives are Western brands such as CRKT, Kershaw, Buck, Boca Plus and the James brand. All of these models are made by Chinese manufacturers. So for years, Chinese companies were the original equipment manufacturer or OEM for these established brands. So now many of these Chinese companies have taken that knowledge and experience to create their own brands. So it's no surprise that the knives of comparative standards have now surpassed the quality of knives in the West. The second reason why China makes good knives is because China has the best technology, facilities and modern equipment in many industries in the world. China has developed faster than any country in the world. The country's infrastructure is the best in the world. The airport of a second tier city is better than airports in most countries. 
this leads to knife making as well. And if you look at the facilities of many knife makers in China, they are far more advanced and equipped than manufacturers in other countries. So there's no doubt that their knife making capabilities are also better. A third point is that China has the economies of scales to reduce production costs. While manufacturing and labor costs have increased significantly in the last 15 years, it's still lower than other developed countries. But note, their cost of living and standard of living in the major cities are as high as many developed cities. If you think China is all farms and fishing villages, you could not be more wrong. So this is how they can also keep costs down comparatively to other countries. And that's why they can create budget blades, which are very high quality. The fourth point is the size of China's talent pool. Due to the size of the population, there's a huge pool to draw from for talent and workers. As a generalized statement, the Chinese work ethic is also very strong, so productivity is very high, which means that you get more knives out from the same factory in a shorter amount of time. Another reason why made in China knives are good is because many Chinese knife brands collaborate with well-known international knife designers. This helps increase their brand awareness through brand association and also gives credibility to their brand. Finally, global connectivity has made it much easier for Chinese brands to market and distribute their knives to the rest of the world. China has become much more sophisticated with their business processes in the area of quality control and marketing. In recent time, you can see that China knife brands are doing a really good job at branding and promoting their knives with comprehensive product information, photos, videos, and the use of international dealers and influencers. So objectively, are made in China knives good? The answer is 100% yes. Now, are there bad knives made in China? 100% yes. But there are also bad knives made in any other country. The question is, are there knives and brands out of China that are of value and worth your money? The answer is 100% yes. I think you can find knives of good value that are well designed. A couple of EDC knives in my rotation are all Chinese. For example, the Civivi KV Plus. I love this front flipper, love that blade design, and it's great to carry small and compact. I also like this Kaiser knife over here. This is the Kaiser Vigor. Great deployment, very nice blade. And uh, this is N690 blade steel. And overall, very nice three inch blade as well. And I've also been carrying this Cancept Bottle 6 knife, which I showed earlier. This is an M390 blade. It looks much bigger than it is. It's just a 3.1 inch blade, but quality is good. A fit and finish is excellent. So all these are knives in my current EDC rotation and they're all Chinese. So if you're questioning whether China can produce the quality you expect from Western brands or brands from other countries, the answer is 100% yes. But let me know your thoughts on China made knives, politics and nationalism aside. Do you own any Chinese knives and what do you think of their quality and value? Let me know your comments below. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content in general, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.